What if you could have AI automate your calls and book appointments for you? How much time would that save you? Also, what if an AI agent could add call summaries to your CRM just like a salesperson? This way you have an AI calling for you all day long and providing summaries of each call in your CRM. Well, this is 100% possible and I'm gonna show you how to do it in just 10 minutes. Let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna come inside of our Synflow account. So make sure if you don't already have an account, sign up with Synflow, come over to assistance and we're gonna wanna create a new assistant. Let's create this from scratch. And this is going to be an inbound assistant because this is going to be when somebody calls our phone number, it'll then trigger this assistant for it to actually work. So let's configure this. Let's just call this electrical assistant inbound, upload a photo if we want. Choose your AI model. I suggest going with ChatGPT 4.0. Knowledge base, we'll add this later. This is essentially the brain behind our AI voice assistant. So we could add a whole bunch of data for our AI to actually be able to access. Let's move on to voice. So voice is obviously extremely important. Let's take a listen to our different voices. So inside of Synflow, our voice provider is 11 labs. As you can see here, this is where we're actually pulling these voices from. Hey, you've called a company. How may I assist you today? All right, that voice is pretty good. Listen to this one. Hey, you've called a company. How may I assist you today? That one's good. Personally, this one's my favorite, Natasha. Hey, you've called a company. How may I assist you today? Yeah, let's go ahead and go with that one. Another thing we could actually do is actually clone our voice. So as you can see, I already cloned my voice. Let's take a listen to this. Hey, you've called a company. How may I assist you today? That's pretty cool. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Let's use my cloned voice. If you want to clone a voice, just click new clone voice, upload five clean sample recordings of yourself, and then it'll actually spit this out. So there we go. We have my voice cloned. Don't worry about any of this stuff here. Also, let's not worry about the call configuration. Let's go back to our dashboard. And as you can see, we could see the total calls, the minutes used, average call duration. We have all this information live in our dashboard. And what we want to focus on now is our prompt. So Obviously we have our custom greeting here. This is what we want our AI to say initially when the phone call is answered. So let's just say, Hey, all right. So here's our greeting. Hey, this is Brock with Messerich electric. How could I help you today? Next, what we want to do, we actually want to edit our prompt. So here's where we want to basically give the training wheels to our AI assistant. This is how it functions. So we need to be really specific with how we want this to work. And the prompt is where we do that. Pretty cool feature inside of Synflow. We could actually use Ask Copilot and we could use AI to actually build the prompt for us by giving a quick example of what we're trying to build. All right, so here's what I'm actually messaging the AI agent. So the goal of this assistant is to answer in phone and com phone calls from an electrical company called Message Electric. This company does residential and commercial electrical in Bend, Oregon. Your goal is to book appointments so the electrician could go to a new job site and fix our electrical issues and then qualify the leads in order to make sure they're a good fit and ask simple questions. So let's send this and it should generate a prompt for us based on that, that we could feed our AI assistant. All right, this looks pretty good. I don't need to go over all these details. I just wanna show you the functionality of how it works for the video. All right, let's click insert this prompt. Now we have a working prompt for our AI assistant so we can move forward. All right, actions. This is where we need to configure our real-time booking. All right, so first of all, we're gonna come inside of Zap here. We wanna create a new Zap. Then for here, for the trigger, we're gonna to wanna to put type form. So that way when a new form is filled out, we'll automatically call via our AI voice assistant. So make sure to add your app here, add the trigger event as new entry, make sure to add your account again, continue. And then we need to select the form that we want to add. I added my form here, so I'm gonna click new form. And then let's just test this trigger and make sure that's working. There we go, it's pulling this dummy data so we can continue with that record. And then next step, we want to use Synflow. Make sure you have a Synflow account before. Make sure to add your app and then add the event. Let's create a call and then continue with that. And let's head over to Synflow. Inside of Synflow, we're gonna wanna come up here to create an assistant. I'm gonna start from scratch and this is going to be an outbound call. And then let's give this a name. For the voice engine, I'm just gonna stick with ChatGPT 4.0. And then we're gonna add a knowledge base later, but let's skip this for now. Next, we wanna head over to our prompt and let's add a custom greeting. All right, so here's my custom greeting. Hey there, this is Natasha with Messerich Electric. How can I help you today? Next, we're gonna to wanna to come over to our prompt and let's ask the co-pilot to build this prompt for us using AI. All right, give our co-pilot a high level idea of what we're trying to build. All right, so there we go. Let's wait until this builds this for us. Here we go, we have a prompt here, so let's move forward with it. 
All right, now that that's set up, we need to actually add a phone number. So I already created a phone number, but if you need to, you need to go to the phone number tab here and then buy one with Twilio. Now that that's set up, let's go back to Zapier and we need to map these fields. So come to our assistant here, click the ID right here, the model ID, insert that right here. And then let's map this information. So phone number, let's use the phone number from the Typeform script or the Typeform step. And then name, same thing for the email. And that should be good to go. Let's actually test this step and I should be receiving a phone call. Yeah, I actually wanted to see if I could get something fixed in the house. Of course. What kind of electrical issue are you experiencing? Yeah, my breaker is not working. I'm actually trying to use my toaster in an outlet. And for some reason, the, there seems to be no power there. Oh, no, that sounds frustrating. It could be a tripped breaker or an issue with the outlet itself. Would you like to schedule a time for one of our technicians to come by and take a look? Uh, I guess so, but actually, I actually want to install a can light in my living room as well. Great. We can definitely help with both the breaker issue and installing can light. When would be a convenient time for us to come by? Uh, I'm okay, thanks. All right, so we got that set up. It's working smoothly as far as this automation goes. Now we need to add a function inside of our AI assistant in Synflow to actually book appointments for us. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to set up our calendar booking integration. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna come over to integrations on the left-hand side, come to cal.com and let's go to cal.com here, make sure to sign up. And then what we need to do is we need to identify our API key inside of cal.com. So come down to settings on the left-hand side, go to API keys, and we're gonna wanna create an API key copy and paste it, and then copy and paste it here in order to connect our app. Once that is connected, go back to our assistant and we wanna to go to our actions and for real-time booking, we wanna create a new action. Come to our cal.com account again, and then we want to then create a meeting. Inside of our meeting link, if you click up here, copy and paste this number in between these kind of brackets here. And then we're gonna paste that because that is our Cal event ID. All right, once that action is created, go ahead and add our email, add all of our time zones and whatnot, and let's save that. There we go, now we have our calendar booking function set up and we need to reflect this in our prompt. All right, let's go back to Zapier and test out and see if this is working. Yeah, I wanna see if I could actually schedule an appointment with you guys to fix something. Uh, it's actually uh, Pacific time. Got it, Pacific time. Let's find a suitable time for you. How about Thursday, November 14th, Friday the 15th, or Saturday the 16th? Uh, how Let about, know which day works best for you. how about the 14th? What times do you have available? On Thursday, November 14th, we have slots available at 9 a.m., 12 p.m., and 3 p.m. Which one works best for you? Let's do the 9 a.m. Please wait a moment while I book your meeting. Great. Your appointment is set for Thursday, November 14th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. You'll receive a confirmation email with the details. If you need to reschedule, just use the link in your email. Looking forward to helping you out. Anything else I can assist with? Just that, thank you so much. All right, and then you could actually see I got an email there with the um, appointment booked via cal.com. So that's set up, that's pretty cool. Now let's add some automations after the phone call in order to summarize this and send the summary to our HubSpot account. All right, so back inside of our Zapier account, we wanna create a new step and we're gonna add another Synflow step. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the bottom and click get call. So this will actually get the call information and we wanna map this field. There's the call ID. Continue. Let's test this step. There we go, so now it actually pulls the call transcript, which is perfect. From there, what we wanna do is we wanna use that transcript and I'm gonna summarize this with ChatGPT. So come down to ChatGPT, click conversation, make sure to add your ChatGPT account. And then for this, let's map this field here. So it's gonna be the call and then what is the one with the call transcript? All right, so call transcript is what we're gonna put here. 
And then for assistant instructions, I'm gonna say use call transcript and give a two sentence summary of the call. This way my team All right, so I basically said use the call transcript and give it a two sentence summary of the call. This way my team knows context of the conversation. All right, here is the summary of the call. It says the caller scheduled an appointment with Messerich Electric for a fix on Thursday, November 14th. Confirmation details will be sent via email. There we go. So that all looks great. And now let's add another step to actually send this to our HubSpot. All right, moving on. Obviously, let's add a HubSpot step here. Make sure to connect your account and let's create a new company. All right, let's create a contact. And then what we need to do is we need to map these fields from these previous steps into our HubSpot. So let's do that now. Email, we're gonna go to the new entry step here and just paste that email there. And let's do the same for name and number. All right, so for the call summary, let's actually go ahead and add this under the membership notes. I can't find an exact notes field here inside of HubSpot. So let's just copy and paste this conversation. We're gonna wanna use the reply as this field to map here. So let's continue with that and then let's test this. All right, looks like a new contact was then added to our HubSpot account. Let's refresh. There we go, we have a brand new contact added to our HubSpot account. That is awesome and let's click on the account and then let's add that membership notes column here. So that way we can see the call summary. There we go, now we have a full call summary here and a new contact is added to our HubSpot based on an AI generated phone call. All right guys, there we have it. We built a Zap inside of Zapier that actually automates a workflow. Now, if you're an electrical company, an HVAC company, a plumbing company, or any type of company that doesn't have the time to just sit and answer phone calls all day, this will automatically call your leads for you, qualify them and book appointments to your calendar. So this, is, this should be helpful to a lot of people. If you guys want more zaps in automated workflows like this, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, sign up with Zapier to build something like this out as well as Synflow, and I'll see you guys in the next video.